Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strike. Thank you so much for being here. So today I decided to make a whole dedicated video to show you guys my favorite brushes. I have a bad habit of forgetting to mention the brushes that I use in my videos because I'm just thinking about like the actual makeup. So I just wanted to show you guys every single brush, not every single brush that I own obviously because I have like way too many, but just the ones that I love that are my holy grail that if I ever travel, I always bring with me and I will tell you guys why they're my favorite. I'm also gonna show you guys how they apply makeup. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so just a little tiny disclaimer, you don't necessarily need all the brushes that I'm showing you. You don't need any of them. Really, it's just what works for you. But if you were in the market for a new brush, I figured I would show you guys what I use in case I'm using something that you want. But you don't need expensive brushes. You don't need a lot of brushes. You really just have to do the best you can with what you have. So these brushes, I have either purchased them or gotten them through PR, and, and it's just kind of the brushes that I just gravitate towards the most. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Just remember, you don't need this exact one. But if you're interested, here we go. All I'm gonna do is show you guys every single brush that I use for every single step of my makeup. So let's start out with base, then go to eyes, and then we can talk about my favorite beauty sponges. So my favorite brush to put on foundation with is this one. All the white handle brushes that you guys see are from the Morphe Times Jack and Hill collection. I did buy all of them, so these are actually my favorite brushes from the collection as well. But this is just amazing. This is the Morphe Jack and Hill JH03. I love this buffing brush. I feel like this is the perfect size, density, and shape for a foundation brush. I personally don't like brushes that are like too tightly compacted and super, super dense to where the point that it actually is not any kind of fluffy. And that for me takes a lot longer to buff out my foundation. It also just makes it a little bit streaky. This is a perfect combination because it's dense so you will get the most coverage out of your foundation, but it's still a little bit fluffy to really give you like an airbrush look and make it very effortless. Don't think that you have to buy the whole collection just for specific brushes. If you're interested, you can always just buy one. And just remember, there's so many codes to get you 10% off. So just use whatever code you want. So I use usually prefer to apply my concealer with a sponge um, just because that's just the way that I like it but sometimes I like to switch to a brush and also sometimes I don't wear foundation and all I do is conceal my whole face so for all those purposes I will be talking about my favorite brush to do that with so this is the Koki Cosmetics 620 brush I love Koki Cosmetics I've loved a lot of their brushes but this one right here has just been my favorite it is so nice again perfect density and size and shape it fits so nicely under the eye and it's dense enough to give you that coverage but again it's a little bit fluffy to really buff it out and give you that airbrush look i've never liked to blend out my concealer with a brush until i found this brush and i love it and i always keep it in my vanity it also is really nice to blend out the concealer or eye primer on your eyelid it's a nice shape for that you could easily use this for setting under your eyes but i really prefer this brush with cream products I think it works amazing and I actually just became an affiliate with Koki Cosmetics which is really exciting because I, I didn't even know that they had an affiliate code so if you are interested in a pretty big discount you guys can put my code VS for 25% off so definitely take advantage of that again it is affiliate so next let's move into setting our under eyes as well as the rest of our face I am in love with this brush from Sigma. It is called their Spotlight Duster F37, and I love it. I mean, every single brush that I talk about, I'm gonna say that I love it for the density and the shape. It's the same for everyone. 
But this shape is just perfect because I personally don't like brushes that are too small and take forever to set under my eyes. Since I do bring my concealer down pretty far, I like to set all of that. So this is perfect because not only is it tapered, which means it's pointy and I can get it right under my eyes, but since it is a little bit long, I can also set the rest of my concealer as well as my eyelid, my smile lines. This is fluffy enough to really set your whole face, but small and the perfect shape to really set your under eyes something else that I love about it is that since it is so fluffy um, you don't pack a bunch of powder on I prefer to do like a light setting but if you're interested in baking you could bake with whatever product you prefer and this actually like I said it's called a spotlight duster so this would be a really really nice brush to take off the bake with because it's so soft that it's not gonna move any of your makeup around. So for contour, I have been loving this brush. This is the Delium Tools 942 Slanted Contour Brush and it is from their Golden Triangle. These brushes are really nice quality and they wash really well and I love using them. Um, you don't really need this exact brand. Personally, I do really like Delium Tools. All you need if you wanna contour like me is just get a slanted brush. I love the size of it and the shape again because it's it's just it's pretty small in the sense that you can get a pretty defined contour but once you press a little bit harder it does open up and it really diffuses the contour so it's not super harsh so that's why I really like it this is small enough so you could really fit that in there and also you can do it on your jaw it's just the perfect shape and size again so if you're interested in a nice little contour brush I really love this one So you guys probably gonna think that I'm crazy but when it comes to bronzing I have so many brushes that I like to use that I bring with me everywhere but first let's talk about this I actually don't have a demo on this brush just because there's no way that I could double contour so let's just talk about this real quick this is the AOA studio f21 you heard that right AOA this brush was one dollar so this brush is so so nice especially for one dollar and I really like it because it's really fluffy but really dense and really pointy so what you can do with this brush is actually contour and bronze at the same time you can use a neutral shade powder that can work as both contour and bronzer and because of the shape of this brush it'll really define the cheekbone with the top and again really fluff it out with the fluffiness of it this is my go-to brush for when I don't want to do like a full face or when I'm doing a more natural look and I just don't want to contour and bronze, I can just do it at the same time, especially if I'm in a hurry and this brush works really well. It washes well. Again, it's $1. It's insane. My go-to brush for just bronzing on a normal occasion is this guy. This is, again, from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collection. This is the JH02. I actually used to have a brush exactly like this just from Morphe, not with Jaclyn Hill, but I lost it, so I'm really glad that I kind of got it back in this collection. I love the shape of it. It is pinched at the bottom, so it can be very precise, but it can also really diffuse the bronzer really, really nicely. This style of brush has been my favorite for bronzing because it's just the perfect shape and you can also pinch it if you want to and really get on those smaller areas if you haven't used a brush shape like this definitely give it a try it makes bronzing a lot easier and a lot faster and then the last bronzer brush that I'm gonna show you guys is this I love having glowy skin so I like to use a very dark highlighter or a very shimmery bronzer to add on top of my bronzer and I like to do it with this brush this is the real techniques 300 I believe it's a powder brush. I mean you're probably thinking this looks exactly like the other one The reason why this one's a lot different is because this one's is a lot softer So the Morphe one really picks up a lot of product and applies it on the face This one not so much if you want a very very Natural bronzer then this brush might be really nice for you, but for me it doesn't pick up enough matte powder so what i like it for is to use with a very very shimmery bronzer and i don't really have to go that light hand with it because this is such a fluffy soft brush so i really like to go in there and put it over my bronzer and another reason why this brush is so amazing is because this is a really nice body bronzer brush it's really soft to do on the neck because again it's so so soft that you're not going to get any harshness to it so 
I really like these brushes. Real Techniques has some amazing high quality brushes. Okay, so next we have probably one of my favorite brushes of all time. Um, this is from the Morphe and Jekyll Hill collection. It's the JH03. When Jacqueline showed this in her videos, she really liked it to put a very fine, loose highlight around her whole face, which I understand because this is the flimsiest brush ever, but in the best way possible. A lot of my blushes are very, very pigmented, and I do like a lot of blush, but I don't like to go overboard with it. So this is like the perfect brush because, again, you don't have to go in with such a light hand. Since it is so, so flimsy, all you have to do is tap it in, and it really like distributes the blush so nicely. I also really like to put blush on my nose to give it that sunburn look, but you can really mess it up if you go too ham with it. So again, this is another reason why I love this brush because once I apply the blush on my cheeks I like to take the excess that is left on the brush and tap it in the middle of my nose and my cheeks and Really just all over my face You could really use this brush for anything that you're trying to have a light hand with all right So next for highlights I have actually tried a bunch of different highlight brushes and I've decided that this is my favorite, I have been using it forever now. It's the Morphe M501. It's a perfect shape and size. This is fluffy enough to give you a very natural look if that's what you desire, but you can also build it up really, really easily. It is not too big to where you're over highlighting on the cheekbone. I really like to be precise when I'm highlighting, especially because I also like to highlight a little bit on my forehead, but I don't want my whole forehead to be shiny. It distributes the product evenly. There's no streakiness with it and like I said it's very precise as well and I just love it I love it so much so if you're looking for a nice highlight brush that kind of gives you everything in one definitely try this guy all right and lastly for the face brushes I wanted to talk about a little stippling brush that I've had for a while now this is from the Ulta collection and it's actually called the highlighting brush which I guess you could do that if you want, but all this is is a stippling dual fiber brush. It's super, super light. This I love to use to blend out any powders that I have on my face because since it is dual fiber, it's not gonna move your makeup around. It's very gentle. I actually used to use this for blush as well, again, because it is so gentle, but I like to keep it nice and clean, and whenever I go a little bit too much with the bronzer or the blush, this works really, really nice to diffuse all the powders together. So this this is just a handy little brush to have just in case you, you know, do it a little bit too much. All right, so there are a lot of brushes that I like to use when I complete an eyeshadow look. A lot of them do the same thing too. I actually have like, I feel like I'm not the only one, but I have so many blending brushes. So I'm obviously not gonna talk about every single brush that I love because there are so many. But again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I wanna talk about my staples. Like when I need to go somewhere, I need to have these brushes because these are my go-to for specific things. So first let's talk about probably my favorite brush of all time. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH30. This is the fluffiest, thickest, biggest brush I've ever seen. It is so big, but it is awesome. It is a blending brush and I love it because when you just wanna do a natural look or you're in a hurry or you just really need a shadow to be very diffused, this is perfect to throw on on the crease. I like to use my bronzers and just put that on my crease and go. Or I also like to use this for more colorful looks. Whatever it is, this is an awesome crease brush. Okay, and the last brush that I wanna talk about is this little guy. This is the Sigma Blending E36. This is probably the smallest blending brush that you have ever seen because that's because it's the smallest that I've ever seen too. This is actually really nice because if again, if you're doing a very intricate look, you could literally blend two colors together in the smallest little fashion or you can use it like me. I'm a little bit more you know, I don't I don't do very many colorful looks, so I actually really enjoy this for my inner corner highlights. I like a very bright inner corner highlight, but sometimes I go a little bit too ham with it. So I like this because since it is a blending brush, I can literally blend it in my inner corner without it going everywhere, and it looks nice and diffused, but still bright. So that's why I like it. You can also use it for the tip of your nose for your highlight or under your brows. It is just a nice little brush that I like to keep with me everywhere I go. Alrighty guys, and to finish off this video, I just wanna quickly talk about my favorite sponges. I only have three, and then I let you guys go home. 
Oh, first sponge that I want to talk about is this little green guy. This is the Morphe, <clears throat> this is the Ofra sponge. It became my favorite for a long, long time because it is the softest sponge that I have ever used. Literally don't feel it pouncing on your face. It is so soft that it blends everything beautifully. It's not streaky whatsoever. It is literally like a cloud, but it is from Ofra, so it's not like the most inexpensive. And I actually found something very similar to it, but I still wanted to show you guys this one in case you do have the budget and you wanna try like a nice high-end sponge. You wanna save a couple dollars actually a lot of dollars you can try this one out this is the wet and wild sponge remember that brands have different kinds of sponges so make sure you get this exact one of course I will link this exact one down below but this is almost just as soft and it is so nice it is so so inexpensive it also has a really nice shape for your whole face or for just under your eyes I really really enjoy it and then another one that I feel like this might be my all-time favorite sponge, actually. It is this one from e.l.f. This has the shape of, I believe this is like the same shape of the Real Techniques one, but this is not as hard. This is a perfect sponge because it is softer than the Real Techniques one, but is it's also just as porous as the Beauty Blenders. It doesn't soak up a lot of the foundation or concealer or cream products that you're using. And it also has the flat side, again, for baking, the pointy side, and it also expands pretty big. This is just a really, really nice sponge. If I had to recommend one out of all of them, it would be this one. Wow, I just talked for so long. So that is it guys. Those are all my favorite go-to brushes. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. Remember, I will link everything down below. Some of these brushes do come in a set. So if I link the whole set, that's because you can't buy them separately. I'm sorry about that. I will try to do my best to show you guys where to get everything. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.